An estimated 12 million Americans or more woke up the day after Christmas to learn that they had lost their jobless benefits, as federal pandemic unemployment programs expired without a new deal in place to extend them. The federal unemployment benefits, which had been put into place with the CARES Act in spring, were set to expire, along with an eviction moratorium, unless new legislation extended their deadlines. Lawmakers from both parties had come together a week ago to pass an estimated $900 billion in stimulus relief measures including the extension and expansion of unemployment benefits, providing much-needed relief to millions. The full pandemic stimulus package was attached to a $1.4 trillion spending plan to fund the federal government through the fiscal year and sent to outgoing President Donald Trump last week to sign. For days, he refused to do so. But on Sunday evening, hours after the benefits expired, Trump finally signed the stimulus legislation and spending bill, narrowly avoiding a government shutdown and allowing federal unemployment benefits to resume. Here's what the stimulus deal includes for those who've lost income or work in the pandemic, and what Trump's delayed signature could mean for the distribution of benefits. Yes, as jobless benefits for millions of Americans had lapsed before Trump agreed to sign the COVID-19 stimulus relief package, Americans who are in the pandemic unemployment assistance and the pandemic emergency unemployment compensation federal programs may not get a payment for the final week of the year. The new stimulus deal also introduces a new $300 weekly supplemental unemployment benefit. It was slated to go out for 11 weeks to anyone collecting regular unemployment, but it may now only last 10 weeks. That's because states can't provide benefits retroactively for weeks that start before the programs are authorized and the legislation calls for the supplemental payments to end on March 14. Here's an overview of all that's included in the new pandemic stimulus relief package for those who've lost wages and work. Americans who have exhausted all of their regular state unemployment benefits are currently eligible to get up to 13 weeks of federally funded pandemic emergency unemployment compensation PEUC. That program is currently registering an estimated 9.2 million weekly claims, according to the Century Foundation. Millions more who have lost their jobs and don't qualify for regular state benefits can get up to 39 weeks of federal benefits under the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, or PUA, program. Both programs are now being extended under the new stimulus deal to March 14, or to April 11 for those already receiving PEUC benefits who haven't yet exhausted their aid. PUA recipients can also now receive a maximum of 50 total weeks of benefits, up from 39 and recipients of the PEUC program can now receive a maximum of 24 weeks of benefits, up from 13.